welcome back to the Whatnots Reactor Core number 49. My name is Kyle Springer, and I am joined this time by Ignacio Rojas. Ignacio, what's Yo. going on, my dude? It's all good, dude. We get to talk about new Star Wars content, and that's great. The new Star good Wars stuff here. is exciting, indeed. Uh, yes, that is right. New Star Wars stuff is here. We are going to be reacting to the first three Star Wars Visions animated shorts uh, that are now up on Disney+. Plus. Uh, all nine of them are out and available. I We will get to them all eventually here in the near future, uh, but we thought we'd just take it slow. Do, do, uh, do, do, do it in three, in three chunks. Uh, and. Uh, knock it out that that way i'm super stoked mm -hmm. i'm super stoked uh ignacio have you watched them all yet or have you only watched the first three because you, you had no i mentioned you might binge watch them all <laughs> last night uh no i've only watched the first three i okay. was thinking about being so I, when it came out i watched the first two episodes mm -hmm. i had no idea that they were going to release them all at the same time yeah so, uh I thought, oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna go watch the first one uh, tonight because it's late. It was 4 a.m. here. Ooh. <laughs> so, yeah, already past where I should have been sleeping already. So, I, I, yeah, I watched, I watched the first two when it came out. And then last night I was thinking of maybe watching all of the other episodes all at once because they are short. Mm -hmm. But... I also had karate yesterday, and I was uh, so tired, <laughs> and so I only managed to watch one more episode. One more. Well, that's perfect. That's totally good. Yeah, I I had no idea that they were jar jar hopping them all at the same time, because uh, yeah. I I went to go watch the new Marvel What If, which we have our reaction to that up on the site already and up on podcast services and on youtube um and yeah i was like oh sweet i'll get to watch the first one of this and hopefully we can do a re reaction and then i look and yeah it's like all nine are out right now and i was like yes this is awesome <laughs> yeah my reaction was oh are they going to release star wars visions and what if every wednesday for uh, for the for the next weeks to be honest <laughs> well, at the same time it'd be kind of nice but like huh? the, the, yeah i mean we only have two more of what if yeah. right so it, it would just be the, the the first couple weeks there but yeah that yeah. like that like that small overlap there would have been nice of like hey you guys like marvel stuff right you guys like star wars stuff too right well for the next nine weeks but they were like nope it's all out now here you go bam eat and be full uh yeah so what did you think of the first three animated shorts overall i like them i like what they're doing here which is just they went to what is it, nine different anime studios and just told him, mm -hmm. hey, you got sours, do what you want with them because it, it, it isn't just, oh, we're going to make it in-house, but we're going to farm out the animation to some other studio. No, right, these are yeah. made by yeah. these studios. And so because of that, from the three episodes that we watched, we got three different styles and styles different from what, we've, what we have already seen from Star Wars and that's what has me so much excited because now we get to see different things within the same universe. I think the episode 2 is the biggest example of that. How it's just a story about this band not mm -hmm. wanting and this band and specifically this one of one of the members not wanting to let go of their friends. They do not want their friend to go. The, the friend is being taken away. No, we're going to fight for him. And Jabba's also, palace, yeah. hey, Jabba, you are not only a mafia lord, but you have this whole enterprise, you, you would assume. You a like lot of money, businesses and right? <laughs> yeah, you like money. How about you sponsor us? Let's be your first sponsorships. And that's so different from Star Wars. Star Wars is fighting. Star Wars yeah. is lightsabers and ships and all that. And now we get a story about a band 
asking Java, hey, be our first, uh, our first business partner. I, I love how different, how we can see a different aspect of a universe. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think Star Wars is rich with all sorts of stuff that we haven't explored yet. Right. Like yeah. most of the stuff we've gotten has all revolved around the Skywalker family and their whole story. There's so much out there that we just don't know. Like j j just following a simple bounty hunter is different enough like to 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 do that. That's like, oh, it's, you know, it's not the, the Skywalkers. We can follow that. But yeah, here we get this like Kur Kurosawa inspired like samurai sh short. We get the one that's about music and then we get this like all out sci-fi space i don't even know what the hell the that that third one was but it's just it's so stylish that it's just like this is unlike anything we've seen in the star wars universe except for maybe gendy tartakovsky's uh clone wars short because that was in sure, his yeah. in, in his like distinct style but he but even but yeah. then he was still part of it was still anakin it was still the clone right. wars it would still right. yeah different visual uh style but it's, it was still within that same boundary of things we have already seen absolutely yeah i'm i'm excited to see what we get where i hit this uh because i recently did a rewatch of all the matrix stuff and i watched the a a anime matrix and it's good the Animatrix is still good, and this is the exact same type of, of thing, where it's like, here's all these, these short side stories, just have fun. You, you know, here's the guy that did Cowboy Bebop and all that. He's making something, you know, all, all, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, it just, it's, I, like, I, I, I had a blast. We got these. They they weren't necessarily all stuff that struck a chord with me, but it it was like it's neat to just see these new perspectives and these new interpretations of this thing here. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the first one, the duel. How did you mm -hmm. like the duel? What's on that one? I like you very much. Uh, first of all, I. Uh gotta say of course i watched these in japanese okay so okay. Okay. Yeah, i'm assuming you watched them in english i did i did not even know that they had the like japanese versions up on well, there until like this afternoon and i was like oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go, go back and well yeah because this. disney plus has it has i think it has just every language available oh perfect there so you, yeah. you can watch it in english japanese spanish I'll whatever you French. want <laughs> you can watch it in french yeah uh i like it very much the one thing that i didn't really like about it which i think might be what one of the biggest things that will impact this series is the fact that uh you are changing our styles with each episode mm-hmm and some art styles for me are going to be hit and some are going to be misses. For to sure. me, at the beginning, it was starting to be a bit of a miss because uh, the, this art style is a bit noisy to me, uh, visually okay, noisy. And because of that, it started to be a problem when I couldn't tell. Uh, when you first see the, the scene where everyone is being taken hostage and one of the guards stands up and starts shooting and all that, I couldn't tell if it was a stormtrooper or if it was someone else because mm. it was so noisy that I couldn't make out any distinctive feature of him. And the same, there are some shots where faces were very blurred, blurry to me because of it was so noisy. But in the end, I I got accustomed to it and I did really much like the style of it. Going to the story of it, I really like it how. At the beginning, you think, oh, it is a Jedi. And I thought, wait, why would there be just a Jedi roaming around? They are knights. They are yeah. this specific thing. And no, when she challenges well, Depending uh, on when it is, they'd be outlaws. Yeah. 
but she calls him out uh, like oh you're a jedi or whatever i'm gonna kill you whatever and then he does the one shot that is in the trailer where they just, with the same the sword. sword yeah and he's red and you're like oh my god he's a seed <sighs> Wild. And then at the end, when, when he does the thing with your jacket and you see, oh, he has so many red crystals. And only with, and just with that, you can create this whole backstory for him. Oh, to me, it's like, oh, he must have been a Sith that got a, that realized that, that how fucked up this whole thing is. So now he's hunting other Sith. I don't know if it's that the, he thinks the whole thing is fucked up because the Sith have the role of two. Um, which uh, I, I, I forget who, who was who instituted who did that his name. Um, God, I should know it. Um, should you know? I, 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 I don't, I, yeah. Uh, so the rule of two is basically that there can only be two Sith, the master and the apprentice. That's why we don't see more of them because they killed one and another off. Because another Sith is also wanting to amass power and all that stuff, so they're a big th what? Th th threat. So they can, there can only be two Sith just total? The Sith are after power, right? Like, yeah. that's what they want. They want power and wealth and all that stuff. So another Sith is also going to be a big th 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 threat to them because yeah. they too are amassing power and wealth and stuff like that so the sith kind of took each other out and was just like no i want to have that power and you like i'll take that so this That's fits in with rule. actual in, with actual star wars canon of, of but the, even, the even then that doesn't make sense because we know we know that the sisters are out there. The, the, what the, they called? the night sisters are witches. They're not necessarily. Yeah, Sith. but they still carry a, a red saber. Yeah, maybe they are not Sith, but it is basically Sith. Oh, you're thinking of Asajj Ventress? No, I'm thinking because the, the I'm going the, out the, of the knights, of the Jedi. Knights, I'm, the I'm going out of Jedi in general, Fallen Order. Don't have sabers but i'm going off of, of uh jedi fallen order where they you see them having red sabers and now you they, get this one uh, woman that's also carrying her lightsaber and who is also a part of the of the bigger uh, empire yeah it's, so maybe it's they're not, not to say, like, like there there are multiple people out there with red sabers like the inquisitors and stuff like yeah, that inquisitors the, that um st stuff like that like there there are people with bad intentions that have sabers that have crystals or some kind of crystal using and also have the weapon force. Have also can use the force i can yeah, also use the force yeah you don't have to be a sith or jedi to use the fo ho 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 force yeah, i'm i think that okay maybe not he's not counting down sith but he basically is counting down the equivalent of sith right now in the terms of the empire Sure. Yeah. Um, it's a long, long, long story short. The the, the Sith are known yeah. to fight one and a and a other. Um, but yeah, it makes sense. That's a weird rule. It <laughs> makes sense regardless. Um, the I don't but, know. You yeah, have like thousands of Jedi and only two Sith. <laughs> yeah, dude. They 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 were amassing all of that power. They are. That's why the Je Je Jedi are so scared of them because only. Two of them could f fuck them up, but uh, yeah, I, I I think that that one in particular left me with the most questions. I'm just like, yeah, what is he doing with all of those crystals? Like, why is he saving them? Why is he handing this one to the boy? Like, do they mm. do, do do they really ward off evil? Then why do the the like? I don't know. I don't I don't know if it is that. I mean, for for why he is carrying them, I think that those are more like trophies i don't know if trophy would be the right word but like something to symbolize that he has done he has uh, crossed a name out of that list gotcha. just to say that and then for the kid i don't think that it literally words of evil but maybe he he could be like 
if they come to mess with you, you can either show them your crystal or maybe do something with the crystal that will give you power. Yeah. Didn't he give the one dude the like umbrella yeah. thing there? It was like, you can keep that. So, you know, they might have something to also, make the... cool. Pretty cool the... thing. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cool idea. Kind of like a magnifying a glass in a sort of way where it, it takes one and makes it yeah. so many. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like splits, it splits it up some somehow and forces it out into all of these no. other also, lightsabers and stuff. Very cool action in, in the in all of these overall, but in this one, you get the fight in the log and you get hints of duel of the fates. Yeah, uh, stuff which like was that. Pretty cool. It reminded me of like uh, Ninja Scroll and Afro Samurai and mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Some some old school stuff that I that I I enjoy. Uh, but that that one was good. I, I liked that one a lot. We put a lot of hard work into the shows that we make, and yes, we make multiple different shows here at the Whatnots, and we'd love it if you would check them all out. You can find out more information on our website at thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. When you type in The Whatnots, all of our shows will pop up right there. Just don't forget to give us a nice rating and review if you like the shows. If you want to support what we do here at The Whatnots, patreon.com slash The Whatnots is the best place to do that. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You can get all kinds of exclusive content at the $3 tier. You can also get a shout out and thank you on all of our shows at the $5 tier. You can support us on Twitch by subscribing to our channel at twitch.tv slash the whatnots. And we would love to have you all join us for our live streams and talk with us in the chat. And lastly, we have merch. If you want to grab yourself a shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or something else, go to the whatnots.com slash store to pick up some merch today. What did you think of the one with the band? How did that one hit you? Uh, yeah, he, okay, so there are two things that, uh, watching the first two episodes, there are two things that got me like, oh, shit, I'm in. Uh, and for this episode, uh, there was one in the episode one, for this episode, well, it was the whole song at the end. Okay. After the whole song, I was like, oh, I'm into this. I really like him, this. Because the, the whole song at the end, I think that it was so powerful in a way. I, I watched, like I said, I watched it in Japanese. I rewatched that one scene in English because I, I heard that it was Joseph Gordon-Levitt singing it. I didn't realize that was hit him, but I thought the song was bad. <laughs> so I went back and I listened to it. And I think that, I think that he did a good job singing but there is something that is missing from it that is in the Japanese where yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, it was he was singing it, but in the Japanese one he was feeling it. Okay. To me, watching it, he was really Good to know. feeling it. Good. To so know. I think that 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 is the thing that made me go, oh, I'm all into this because of the yeah. uh, how into into that song he's putting so much of him into the song, which you then can see at the end of it how. He's kind of exhausted, and then he just calls out to Java, like, hey, yeah. we, they are about to kill us. Hey, Java, why don't you represent us? This is my last chance of doing, of doing it. Uh, and I think that, that, like I said, it is lost in just a Gordon Levitt singing it. Right. But yeah. it is in the Japanese track. Yeah. I, I, at first, was really unsure about this one. The art style was, like, a little too chibi for me, a little too yeah. cute. Um, and, I like, I, yeah, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. The voice acting is a little strange. I feel like that song was a little strange. Uh, but by the end, yeah, I, I, I think it, if it wasn't for that, like, uh, kurosawa inspired first one i think this one would have been my favorite of the the, the first three i think it like is I, my favorite i now want a whole like give me a whole series based on that like mm -hmm. i'm like this was cool like i i really want to explore that because we know that there is entertainment right out in 
Star Wars, but it's something we know almost nothing about. Um, and I, I, yeah, would like to explore that. And like, what, what, like, is there a Star Wars related story that we can tell in that bouncing off of this? Because that would be sweet. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah. Um, to your yeah, point I, I, of I the of the art style of the art style being a bit too chibi, I did have a problem with it at the beginning because. You clearly, it clearly starts with Tim being chased because of Order 66. I think it is clear. Mm-hmm. But then they show him with the band practicing and playing. And I thought, oh, that's weird. It, it looks like at most it was a year later after that. But then you see, you see Boba Fett come in and wanted to drag that one guy to Java. And it, it, yeah. it was pretty weird because... And clearly, if it was at the time of uh, of A New Hope, it would have been several years later. But it it looked like he, the guy didn't look that much different from when he was at the from Order sixty six, and I thought yeah. that that was a bit weird. Yeah. Um. What about this third one, the one from Studio Trigger? Uh, my least brother and sister, three. the twins. The twins. That it was at least favorite for me. Okay. Uh, for for two reasons. One, like I said, it because of the changing of the art styles, it was gonna be hit or miss with different episodes. And to me, the art style here is a miss. I am very particular. I am very. I love anime, but I'm very particular as to what anime style I like. And yeah. the anime style that I do not <laughs> like is the movements that are super exaggerated and the the whole movements how they exaggerate everything oh, and uh yeah the this art style has a lot of exaggeration it is interesting it has at the same time a lot of exaggeration but there are also parts where it feels like the, everything is so so Realistic. static yeah so static where okay. it, if it, it is just one image at the front one image at the back that they're moving it, it is so weird. When, when everything is calm, it is very static. And when everything is actually a movement and all that, the movement is, is super exaggerated. And that yeah, that, there. that to me, the art style and also the visual of it, I, it doesn't do it for me. And uh, plot wise, I do not like how exposition heavy it was at the beginning. It was. It, because it starts with okay, now we we are being told that these there are these twins that they have these special armors and they are these twins uh, star destroyers and the the whole way that the engine works and now five seconds later we learn that the brother the twin is is uh, now going against everything and going to seal the crystal and all that and I think that there there's so much happening at the beginning yeah that uh I that I, I really didn't like yeah they 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 try to explain everything and how mm-hmm. it, it works like i it felt to me more like they were actually trying to pitch a a story of like hey we could make this into a whole anime if you really want and that's why you know they explain like oh we these t- t- twins were made by the 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 dark side and they have this special yeah and it was just like you you really didn't need to tell me all all of that like just by their look uh, like what the armor looks like i know that they're sith or that they are bad guys right like that's all i need to know and you just need to show that gun firing once and i know that that's a gun right and and then they can do their 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 whole thing and they don't need to ex- exp- explain it. Um, but yeah, I I I I agree with you a lot on the story that they could have been chopped down in that third one. But man, I, I like that art style. That art style to me is sick as hell. It's rad um, because it, it's just it's so it, it's it's. In its own way, it's a lot like the first one, the Kurosawa one, where it's so very much their own interpretation of the uh, of the stuff and the heightened a- a- action and stuff just makes it so stylish and and sleek and it's just like i 
I don't really care what the story is. It's just fun to watch. I'd like watch all, all of the stuff that's g- g- going on and all the lightsabers spinning and the yeah, yes and that. It's just it it's was for sure colors, the, right? It's just like ooh, it was shiny. For sure, the most anime episode of the of of them all, the most uh, Dragon Ball Z type anime right, of yeah. them all. Yeah, the the whole <laughs> power ups that they're I mean, getting. The, the whole thing of him like being outside in space and can still breathe yeah. and talk is like, what the hell? That that the, that shouldn't be happening. The lightsaber that just gets bigger and stronger, or the one shot where right. she takes the crystal and shots it into her, into her thing, and yeah. even the the where he kind of like traps her in his. Let's call it my palace, where he shows her the the vision that he had. Mm-hmm. It was so anime because it was so obvious that hey, I it's like hey, I'm in control. I have you in this one bubble, and then she's like, no, man, I'm I'm in control. I'm gonna shatter the whole thing. I'm gonna be free. That was super anime. That it, it, it was, really was obvious that it was gonna happen. This one, uh, I I I can't really decide which one I liked the least in terms of voice acting. This one was also really odd to me. The voice acting, I think, was the most cartoonish, if that makes sense, in this last one. But, I, yeah, because of that, like, heightened action and just that over-the-top art style, it felt like it almost fit, but it was still just like, I don't know how I like the voice acting there. Um, and then that yeah. second one with and I was just like, I don't like the voice acting in this, but I dig what they're doing. I think that that's more of a bigger problem of of uh, just anim- how voicing animation works in the US, where it's you see all these Pixar movies and they are always being voiced by big name actors live action actors and not by voice actors and it's the same here where you have new patrick harris you have uh uh what's her name brie not brie lars the one from community yeah allison 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 you have her and all these big name actors but they are it is different to be a on stage actor than to be a voiceover actor and i i really liked the voice acting in in the Japanese track because it was Japanese anime voice actors. I Which for is, all I, these episodes, I went like, oh, I I'm pretty sure I've heard this voice, and I went for for yeah. episode three. I went to look up who the voice actors were, and it was I'm like, oh yeah, funny I, I, enough. I've seen that fu- guy. Funny or... enough, both funny enough, both both twins have been in Digimon, so of course I I know <laughs> I know them. Of course yeah. you do. Yeah, that I makes really sense. Like like the I, voice acting. There, there is a difference in voice acting and stage acting versus acting for a movie and stuff like that. But it also kind of depends on the process of how they do the vo- vo- voice acting. Because I've never really had a problem with stuff in like Pixar. But like, I, I, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I don't really know how I feel about Alison Brie as a voice actor. I've barely heard her do voice acting. And I like it's cool to have her in that. Why? Why didn't they advertise that? Like, I, I, I it would have been neat to be like, st- like starring Joseph Gordon Levitt, you know, in that like that could have been used for their m- marketing. But it looks yeah. like they just snuck it in. And if they're just sneaking it in, it's like, why didn't you be like? Hey, Funimation, you guys know any good voice actors that know how to do this stuff? Because I, I felt like it could have been upped. Like, they, they could have done a better job voice acting. It wasn't yeah. so bad that I was like, what in the world? But it was just like, okay, that was a choice, you know? No, I think it, 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 it isn't necessarily that it is going to be bad. I mean, Pixar, I said, they use big name actors, but... From what I know, most often than not, they are they still do a good job. But I think that it does up the pos- the probabilities of it not working for if sure. it is not for someone sure. that is accustomed to doing voice acting. And from what I know, I think all three of these episodes had big name actors behind them. 
uh, voicing yeah, characters. So I'm I'm assuming that all these episodes have that. And so, yeah, like you say, it does seem like it is a marketing thing, but they didn't market it. Right. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. But I'm excited to watch the rest of them. Uh, I, I, I know we will be back to cover them uh, at some point in the near future. Here, we don't have it exactly planned out, but we'll get them out real soon. Um, but with that, I think that about wraps us up for our reactions to this Ignacio. Where can the people find you on the internet? People can find me on Twitter at Ignacio Rojas B. That's I-G-N-A-C-I-O-R-O-J-A-S-B. And you can catch me every Wednesday on Crossplay, if I'm not mistaken. Wednesday? Tuesdays is when it actually comes Tuesdays. out. But it will be there on Wednesdays. <laughs> you know. will, I, I think at <laughs> the same time, I also said Wednesday, and you also said, yeah, it will be with there Wednesday. But it's just, <laughs> yeah, you can catch me every week on uh crossplay our other our video game podcast indeed on the web. if you guys want to stay up to date with me i'm at yo kyle springer on twitter if you guys want to follow all of the stuff that we do here at the whatnots including crossplay our video game podcast uh we are at the whatnots on twitter so go like share subscribe but you guys know the deal with that uh, we would also like to give a big shout out to our Patreon supporters at the $5 tier and above. So thank you to Sam. We love you a lot. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. It means a ton. Thank you, Sam. Uh, but with that, uh, be on the lookout for more Marvel What If reactions, more trailer reactions, more Star Wars Vision reactions c coming down the road. Uh, and I, I was about to do some sign off thing here but i don't have like a saying to do so until next time we will see you then bye